What's up everyone, it's Adam from Life of Adam and today I'm gonna to talk about the lifeguarding rescue skills test at the end of the lifeguarding course. Now I'm not talking about anything at the beginning. This has nothing to do with the 300 meter swim, has nothing to do with the brick dive or the treading. This test happens at the very end of the course. Basically it happens the last day that you guys are in the pool swimming and practicing your skills. Now this is something that you only have to pass once because when you get recertified every two years afterwards, they do not do this. So this is just for first time lifeguards taking the course for the very first time. And this happens basically at the very end after they teach you basically all the skills you need to know. Now when I I did this test which was about five ish years ago what they had us do was the instructor was outside the water he basically thought of a scenario off the top of his head so it's not something like formal where like he has a sheet of paper and you have to do every single question basically all he did was he thought of a scenario he had one of the people in the class be a victim and basically he told you a story and he's like all right you gotta go save him so for me what it was it was like a guy jumped off the diving board and he hit his head and he sank to the bottom and basically that's all he said. He just waited for me to make a rescue. And what I had to do was I had to do a, I had to stabilize the head and I had to do a deep water spinal injury rescue. Now you didn't have to backboard him by yourself. It's not like you had to rescue him, put him on a deep water backboard and then bring him up all by yourself. All you had to do was do the rescue in the water. So basically I stabilized the head like this and I brought him to the surface and then I was done. So I had to do like three or four of those types of scenarios. Now all I know is there's a couple kids in my class who approach the rescue incorrectly. Sometimes my instructor is expecting one specific rescue. So if you do it incorrectly, he won't like freak out, but he would say, listen, like, start over try something else so it's not something where like if you get it wrong you cannot pass the course basically what it is he's just basically quizzing you based on your knowledge and based on like all the skills you've done and hoping that you can apply it with like your natural instincts that's what it is you have to do well on this because if you don't do well on this then he's gonna kind of hesitate to have you guys progress to the next step, which is like the written test and the CPR test. So you have to do a good job. If he tells you, all right, you gotta go save this person at the bottom of the deep end, and you do like the wrong form, or like you lose the tube and you just have no idea what to do, then he's gonna start second guessing your capabilities and that's when it gets bad or he or she, doesn't matter who the instructor is, but you have to do this very relaxing and you have to, think about it in your head. You can't just rush it and be like, all right, I think I have to do this. Take a second, try to repeat what your instructor said and slowly just make the rescue. Just all you have to do is good form. There's no rush. I know the victim is like holding his breath or her breath underwater for a long time, but like honestly, they gotta hold it because you gotta do a good job on this. So just really think about what to do. Make sure you're on the same page with the victim and just make the rescue. You, you guys will be practicing this so much, so it's not really difficult because it'll be fresh in your mind. This video is just to summarize what it's about. It's a part of the course that not a lot of people think about, but it is important because I mean, it's towards the end and you gotta impress your instructor to make sure they have all the confidence in the world of giving you your certification. The worst thing ever is illustrating the fact that all of the knowledge they taught you didn't stick with you and you just have no idea what to do. That's the worst thing you can do. But you guys gotta do a really good job on this. You probably will. If you watch all my videos, I basically explain everything in detail. So you guys should all be on the same page and you guys will definitely get your lifeguard certification. So if you guys are new to the channel, definitely check out all those videos because I post a bunch of them and they're very helpful. So I hope you guys enjoy. Definitely like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and you wanna see more lifeguarding videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.